What's up guys, it's Gavin here again with another video. Um, if you watched my previous video, I appreciate it a lot. I'm really hoping to get into this more and film just about every week if I can. Um, today's video, I would like to showcase my vintage t-shirt collection. Um, it features about 30 pieces and some are personal that I will never sell. And then some of them, if you're interested, can be for sale, so let me know. We have this 1991 Ren and Stimpy tee from the TV show, which many of you probably heard of. Um, I used to watch a lot as a kid. One of the first tees that actually got me into vintage was this one. I purchased it at Round 2 Virginia location in probably late 2017. So yeah, a classic piece for my collection. Next we have this 1994 Umbro World Cup tee featuring the Germany flag and a soccer ball and Umbro logoing everywhere. Just a cool piece I thrifted when I first got into vintage and just want to have it yet to let go. And yeah, it's a little long on me so I don't really get enough wear out of it as I used to, but it's still a pretty cool piece to have. Next we have this Dennis Rodman tattoo long sleeve. It just features hits of Dennis Rodman's actual tattoos throughout the shirt, has them on the sleeves, the back, the chest. Pretty cool long sleeve in my opinion. Definitely could layer it pretty well with like a short sleeve shirt and then have the sleeves popping with the tattoos. So yeah, pretty cool long sleeve. Next, we have this 1994 Rolling Stones Lyric T featuring lyrics from the classic song, Love is Strong. It has just the X and the I on the front and then on the back it has a verse from the song. Pretty cool T, I don't really wear it as much anymore just because it is getting small on me from all the times I used to wear it and wash it. But overall, just a classic piece to have. You have to have Rolling Stones to in your collection. If you collect vintage, I'm pretty sure everyone does. Yeah, that's that one. Next is this 1997 Marilyn Monroe nude tee. Um, I had never seen this one before, before I picked it up. And I actually got it at Round 2 New York last time I was there. Um, it's pretty much dead stock. It does not fit me whatsoever. It is extremely big on me. So if you were wanting to cop this, please hit me up. I will definitely sell it to you. Next, we have one of my favorite tees from my collection. It is the Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness Tour tee from 1996. It features the classic crying face on the front along with the tour dates on the back. Fun fact, this tour actually lasted nearly three years which is insanely long to be touring for. I could not believe doing it for that long, just for one singular tour. Um, yeah, one of my favorite tees because I really enjoy the band Smashing Pumpkins. So yeah. Uh, next is actually a tee my father gave to me. He did not actually have a lot of vintage tees left in his collection because they were just destroyed from all the years of wearing them. But this is one that he luckily still had and gave to me. It's a Johnny Quest tee from the old TV show from 1995. And yeah, just a really cool piece to have when you first start out because it's just a classic cartoon tee. And even better, I used to watch the show with my dad when I was younger, so I have memories of that along with the memories of the tea. So yeah, pretty cool. Next, we have this anti-flag tea, which features the classic anti-flag logo along with a police officer. And then on the back, it says, your silence will not protect you. Um, I recently just picked this one up, so I've not got a chance to wear it yet. I plan to get a lot of wear out of it this summer though. Definitely a really cool tee to have in the collection. Next, we have this Toadies tee, and it is one of my favorites in my collection just because how much I actually enjoy the band Toadies. Um, my father showed me them, and I just really enjoy their songs. Um, this is one of the first, not really the first, but it's one of the older pieces in my collection. Has a ton of wear in it, as you can see by the holes all throughout the shirt. Really cool shirt in my opinion, and it definitely really got a lot of wear out of this back in the day. 
Next is this Macross tee from, I'm not too sure when, it's either late 80s or early 90s. Um, I previewed this in my last video, so if you haven't checked that one out, please go check it out. And if you haven't, then this is just classic Macross logo tee from the TV series anime. And yeah, it just features the two characters holding each other along with the word Macross. Really cool tee to have. Next, we have this Hartford Whalers logo tee. I got this one from my dad again. Um, he's an insanely big Whalers fan. He was really sad when they left Hartford. Um, just features the classic Whalers hit right there. And then their big logo on the back. Nothing too crazy, just another one I got from my dad. So that's why I hold it one dear to my heart. Um, has just some rips here and there, some paint stains here and there. Definitely wore this a lot back in the day. Next, we have this Malcolm X Buy Any Meets Necessary tee. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this graphic before because it's a very famous picture. And not only that, Supreme actually ripped this tee for one of their own pieces. So yeah, it has Malcolm X with the AK. And then on the back, it features his speech from the ballot or the bullet, which I'm not going to read because it's just not, we don't have enough time for that and we'd be here all day. But still a really cool piece I don't really wear as much because it is super thin and I'm not a big fan of the paper thin shirts, but it's just a really cool graphic and has history to it. So that's why I still have this one. Next, we just have this Firewalkers R Hot Fire Tee from 1992. Um, picked this one up from a friend, he traded it to me. Uh, I don't really wear this one as much as I'd like because it is, again, insanely long on me. So yeah, if you're interested in this one, please let me know. Next, we have this IAR Systems T, which is a Swedish software brand for anyone that doesn't know. And it features the classic Gone with the Wind type comic strip, which says, I'm leaving you Scarlet. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a dram. So yeah, pretty cool. Also has the IAR Systems logo on the back, along with just the date of the conference this was given out at and all that stuff. Yeah, pretty cool tee. I have not worn again because it is just insanely long on me, but I probably am not gonna sell this one just because I really like the graphic. Next, we have this Toadies tee, again, because I, like I said, I really enjoyed the Toadies. I wore the first one so many times, I figured why not get another one. This one features the Devil Baby on the front and then the Caution tee on the back. Um, just a really nice color. It's like a washed tan, almost like a sand colorway. Um, I get a lot of wear out of this one. Really cool tee to have. Next, we have this shit faced and Sturgis tee, which features a cowboy biker dude on the front. And for anyone who doesn't know, Sturgis is like an annual bike rally they hold. I'm not too sure where it is, but it is an annual bike rally. And then on the back, it just says, Sturges, and then it has the 57th anniversary logo with Mount Rushmore on it. Um, another cool tee I don't get enough wear out of just because, like I said before, all these tees get insanely long on me. Next, we have another one I previewed in my last video. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. If you didn't check it out, then this is a Smith's Me is Murder promo tee. Um, there's not really a lot to say about it because it's a classic Smiths piece. Um, I enjoy the Smiths, so this is actually another one of my favorite tees in the collection. I get a lot of wear out of this one and it's a super cool tee to have. Next, we have this just random tee that I got off of Depop for extremely cheap. It's cropped and it has paint stains throughout. It just says Shits Creek Canoe Club along with bend up and back, no paddle. I'm not too sure what this is from. If anyone could tell me what it's from, then that's greatly appreciated. Um, I just think it's a super random and cool shirt to have. I get a lot of wear out of this one. I really like the fit on it. It's extremely boxy and short, so it just looks really cool. Um, yeah, just random tee that I have that I thought was cool. Next is this 1999 Billy Joel tee that I picked at the bins paid like a dollar for it, I think. I have yet to wear it. I'm not a big Billy Joel fan. I'm not saying he's not good, I just don't listen to him. Um, so I will definitely be looking to sell this one. So hit me up if you are interested. 
Next is this Symphony X long sleeve featuring the album cover of their album called The New Mythology Suite. No, I'm not a fan of this band. I actually have never heard of them. I just looked up what album that was from. It features Symphony X on the sleeve. And then on the back, it also features what looks to be, as many of you know, as the V-Lone V featuring what I assume is the band members. Like I said, I don't listen to the band. I just thought the T was pretty cool. And yeah, this is just a cool piece I have. Next is uh, just another classic one I had when I first got into vintage. It's just the Rainbow Guest T um, from 1994. Nothing too crazy. It's everyone has probably a staple Guest T in their collection. Next is actually one of my favorites again. It's this Pulp Fiction tee, which has the embroidered Pulp Fiction hit right there. And then on the back it says, oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? And if you've seen Pulp Fiction, you know what scene that's from. Classic movie, insanely cool tee to have. One of my favorite movies, I will say. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. Next is just this Cranberries Free to Decide Tour tee. Um, I picked this one up at Round 2 New York a couple years ago. Um, a fun fact, my parents actually were at the same concert date that was in our local area for this tour when it happened, so that's pretty cool. No, it was not their tea, but it was still very cool. Um, just features a clown, then the cranberries, and then on the back it just has the tour dates. So yeah, pretty cool tea. Next, we have this 50 Cent Get Rich or Die Trying Tour T from 2003. Um, I don't listen to him as much anymore, but growing up listening to rap, I definitely listen to a lot of 50 Cent. He is classic. Um, I'm sure many of you have seen this album cover before. And then on the back, it just features the tour dates. So yeah, another really classic T to have and essential for any 50 Cent fan. Next, we have this Green Day Dookie Tour T. Again, one of my favorite bands. Um, this is from 1994. It features the classic Green Day with the Dookie print on the front. And then on the back, it actually has the tour dates. And fun fact about this T is, it is not like the most American tees where it just says like Dookie on the back. It has the tour dates from the overseas tours. So this is one you don't see too often. One of my favorite tees that I probably will never let go of. Next is this Pearl Jam 1994 No Future tee. It features a somewhat malnourished child on the front, along with the future on top, and then a flag waving in the sky on the back. It's a really nice color on this one. Um, it's actually up for sale on my grail because I don't really like how it fits. So if you're interested, go copy. Next is another one that is actually on my grail for sale because I don't like how it fits. It's this 1994 Beatles Magical Mystery Tour tee, which is insanely cool. Huge graphic on the front, features all the Beatles on it with crazy popping Beatles. And then on the back, it just says Beatles. And yeah, really cool yellow on this one. Um, I wish I could wear it, but it doesn't fit me right. And that's a shame. So it's for sale on my grail. Next is just a polo sport long sleeve. One of the first pieces I picked up when I got started in the vintage. Don't really get as much wear out of it anymore because it's nothing crazy, but just a staple piece to have when you first get into vintage. And lastly, we have this 2001 Grateful Dead tee. Um, it's not the oldest, it's not the coolest, but it is a nice shirt in my opinion. I really like the colors of the tie dye and it just features the Grateful Dead along with like a skeleton Indian type dude behind the Taj Mahal. And on the back, it just has camels, the Taj Mahal, and then the same dude. So yeah, pretty cool tee. And I used to get a lot of wear out of this one in the summer, but it's not the summer right now. Um, I just wanted to throw this segment in at the end of the, my videos from now on. I'm just gonna leave a couple 
of my maybe favorite songs or favorite movies or favorite TV shows that I have been watching and or listening to as of the past week. So yeah, that's gonna be the next thing you see. Uh, so to wrap things up, that was my vintage collection. Uh, I have a lot more teas than that, but those are just the ones I wanted to showcase. Um, I have a lot of teas that I'm gonna put up for sale soon. So if you wanna check that out, just follow me on Instagram, I will update you. Or you can check out my Grailed whenever and there will most likely be pieces for sale. Um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe, whatever you want to do, like maybe, um, leave suggestions for another video, and I hope to be back next week with another video. Peace!